Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back, it's your boy, Simon B1471, and thank you for coming and joining the resistance. That's what I'm going to call us all from now on. We are the resistance against Activision and the corporate, also known as shill type YouTubers, and there's been a lot of stuff going off since I last did YouTube. A lot of content creators may it be 402 Thunder, may it be 8 Thoughts, Blame Truth, Mr. Tracky, which it's nice to see that guy growing. I enjoy his content. And then, of course, GG Reloaded. They're the kind of you know, YouTubers I watch who are, you know, very critical of the game, which is, you know, nice to see some more so than others. Some use a more comedic stance and then others are more analytical with what they say. So it's nice to see that a lot more people are talking out about skill-based matchmaking. And then we've also been hearing very recently about this patent, which I've covered on the channel before, where it basically affects how well or bad you do in the games themselves in real time. A lot of the shill YouTubers may be exclusive ace, which I didn't think it was that much of a shill, but... Some of the Twitter conversations I've seen between him and 8 Thoughts is just crazy that he's calling people flat earthers and him along with um, Drifter have been coming out and defending, you know, Activision, like their life depends on it, which is just crazy, you know. We are seeing content creators' true colours. I don't think Exclusive Ace is a bad person, but he is definitely in the Activision shield camp. Um, and any, you know, YouTubers I've said before who gets gameplay early, gets invited out to these events, gets free food, hotel accommodation, free flights. They are kind of working for Activision, you know. They might not be getting actual cash given in their hands, but they get incentives to make them go out. And we've seen other big YouTubers where they've been critical of Activision or whatever, you know, developer it is before. And they get, you know, kind of blacklisted. It's crazy that... You've got YouTubers out there who are just defending Activision right now. And it's not really the developer's fault. It's the publisher's fault, Activision. Activision control pretty much, you know, what we get in the game. If you think Treyarch have got some kind of a creative influence or Infinity Ward or whatever in the video games they're making, they don't. They've got no kind of creative influence. What COD once was and what it is now, it's a shadow of its former self. Now they've took Miami out of the game. You've got, what, two 6v6, actual two 6v6 maps, what were designed for 6v6. I know you've got other maps in there which double up as, you know, some of the larger maps as well. But, yeah, two dedicated 6v6 maps. Now they've took Miami out of rotation because it's just way too big anyway. It's a bit, it it kind of reminds me of Aftermath. I used to hate Aftermath on Black Ops 2, but looking back on it now, I'd actually take Aftermath in this game. I know we've got Raid coming, which, you know, that's all good and all, but they can put as many good maps in the game as they want. You know, the problem still exists with skill-based matchmaking that every single video game um, you play on Call of Duty, you just have to, you know, concentrate that much. in video gaming, for me anyway, I know there's going to be people out there who kind of look at it totally different to me, but for me, video gaming is all about chilling out, having fun, and having a laugh with your friends, or just, you know, playing on your own, having a laugh, having fun. And on Call of Duty, as it stands right now, you cannot do that. You have to use the meta weapons, and it gets boring very quickly. Everybody's head glitching, everybody's playing like their life depends on it. It's just not fun. Like I've said in various videos, you need to have a ranked playlist, and then a casual playlist, where you just play based on connection only. You know, skill-based matchmaking has no... Well, in unranked lobbies anyway, it has no place in video gaming. It's a bad kind of example to set to kids, you know, thinking that you're just going to get put in easy lobbies. Um, it's it, it's a bad example, you know, because when you go out into the big wide world, you get a job. If you're not doing very well at your job, they will fire you and they will get somebody who can do that job better than you. So you need to learn quick, otherwise you're going to get fired. But in the Call of Duty video gaming world, don't worry if you're bad at the game, we'll put you with other bad people. Well, in the business world, that doesn't work. If you're not good at doing something, they will fire you and they will get somebody who can do it better. So yeah, skill-based matchmaking doesn't need to be in the games. And then we've got this new news about this patent where... Um, why so serious, I believe, the content creator was. I don't really watch his content, so beg my pardon, guys. He come out, did a good video talking about this patent in a bit more detail than me. I'm going to paraphrase, you know, what came from that video. 
And essentially what it does, and I know most of you guys who watch me, you'll watch Thunder, you'll watch 8 Thoughts. So I know I'm late to the party, okay? Um, but I always want to give my opinion on things. Apparently this patent, and there's no way of proving this, but there's no way of not proving it neither. So this patent, what Activision's got, like I've said, I've talked about it before. There's plenty of videos out there. I talked about this pretty much before anybody else did, um, probably about three months ago. Apparently this patent is supposed to change how well you do in real time. So there's people out there speculating that it changes the damage your weapon does. It changes your hitbox, the hit registration. If anybody can prove this outright, it will basically destroy Call of Duty. It is that big of a deal. You know, what is the point of playing a video game if there's an algorithm in there which thinks, hold on a minute, this guy's doing too good. Let's make his hitbox bigger so he's easier to shoot. Let's change his damage of his weapon so it's like a pea shooter. Now, I've experienced this sometimes, and I know there's a lot of people out there where you'll be playing a video game, you'll be doing quite well, you'll run into somebody, and then all of a sudden, you're just getting hit markers or your bullets seem to not be registering. Is this... The patent taking effect because for the last couple of years for me anyway call of duty and the networks and the servers it runs on somebody told me it runs on a 20 hertz server i'm like what the hell there's going to be a reason it runs on that bad of a server so they can manipulate what is being sent to and from the server like i said all this is speculation there's nothing there but then you've got exclusive ace who's been on twitter he's been defending Activision along with Drifter going Drifter saying that oh I'm gonna have to mute you know certain accounts now because I'm sick of hearing about you know these um, Activision patents in the game you know he he knows deep down there's something there but he's obviously basically being bought by Activision he knows if he says anything bad about the game he's gonna be blacklisted just like exclusive Ace Jay God or whatever you know other YouTubers who are you know on the Activision train to um, becoming a millionaire well i should imagine most of them are already millionaires anyway but yeah it's nice to see that the community this is kind of the most vocal i've ever seen the community about anything you know it was bad enough skill-based matchmaking but then you've got a patent in the game which people are saying that it is you know for pvp so player versus player combat and why would activision even have a patent you know for call of duty or whatever and it be for PvE. You know, Exclusive Ace is saying there's no evidence to suggest that it's for PvP. It'll probably be for PvE. Well, you can spin that 180. You know, there's no evidence to say that this patent isn't for PvP. You know, it's just a patent. And if you've got a patent, what's saying it's going to change certain outcomes in a Call of Duty game? Really, what is Call of Duty all about? It's about player versus player combat, not player versus environment. So, if anything... If Activision's got a patent, it's going to be for player versus player. Why would they have a patent that's for player versus environment, PvE, whatever? And it, it's hilarious now that I think a lot of people are starting to see, you know, the shills for what they really are. How can anybody defend Activision of all businesses out there? You know, they're one of the most scummiest businesses in the world. They get voted, probably, along with EA. You know, some of the worst companies in the world year after year you're know, exploiting kids you know we all know about fifa ultimate team with the packs you know the probabilities you know people going about scripting in fifa which probably does happen you know and then you've got call of duty same thing you know years have gone you know where video gaming used to be about how actual good you are at it you know to you know do well now, even if you're good at a video game, they've got algorithms and systems and programming in place to actually you know, make it harder for you. May it be that you're just not playing better at better players than yourself or the same skill set players. Even if you're doing good against those same skill set players, there's an algorithm in there to actually change in real time you know, how well you're going to do. May it be making your hitbox smaller, making your you know opponent's hitboxes smaller. Sorry, making your hitbox bigger, I mean, um, so you're easier to kill, or making your opponent's hitbox smaller, you know, making your weapon do less damage, making the enemy's weapons do more damage. You know, there's things in the video game, um, in this patent, which I've not really let, well, word for word, because I'm not, you know, a patent kind of, you know, lawyer or whatever. I don't know the actual, you know, proper terminology, but... You know, it's it's great to see that the community are very, very vocal about this right now. And 
There was people saying on Twitter as well, you know, that the community managers out there, maybe Ashton is Vulcan. Is it Foxhound FPS now, the community manager? I don't even look at them anymore because years ago, you used to have community managers who actually cared about the community. They cared about the game. Business models and video games were way different back then. It used to be you had to do what the community wanted. You at least had to sound like you was listening. You know, remember when they took Last Stand out of the game? You know, when they said, fuck you, Last Stand? You know, Robert Bowling, that was amazing. That was one of the best moments ever. In, you know, Call of Duty history from a community manager. He's like, yeah, we're going to get rid of this. Woo! Community were going crazy, you know? All you see now from Ashton and his Vulcan or Foxhound FPS or whoever it is, you know, whatever the community manager's names are now, because they're that irrelevant in my opinion because they don't really interact with anybody. They just retweet box. You know, that's what they do on Twitter now. They retweet stuff. I'm sure they do the same stuff on Facebook or whatever platforms, you know, you guys follow them on. They're a retweet bot. They are community managers by name only. What they are essentially are now is basically marketing managers. That's all they do. You know, years ago, who was it? I said this on a Twitter video. If you don't follow me on Twitter, guys, go and follow me on Twitter. I'm a lot more, um, uh, well, at least for the moment, I'm a lot more active on Twitter because it's easier to do a one-minute Twitter video than upload a full-length YouTube video. But Ashton is Vulcan and all the rest of them, they block people who are critical. I know sometimes people may go a bit too far and it verges on harassment, but the snowflake generation we're in right now, they get butthurt about things which are just stupid. You know, if you're going hardcore on somebody, yeah, okay, fair enough. But there's a lot of people out there who's not even communicated, you know, with these um, so-called community managers, also known as marketing managers, such as Blame Truth, you know. He's getting blocked from people who he's never even communicated with, you know, in the community, which is just fucking crazy. Let's be real, you know. I can understand why Eight Thoughts gets banned with Summerham, to be fair, you know, he's a bit more full on, um, you know, than Blame Truth. But for Blame Truth, the tweets I see from him, especially, even though I don't agree with, you know, Blame Truth on everything, where he was talking about Korean Savage being a good person. I'm like, how can Korean Savage be a good person when, you know, he was basically dropping a nuke on disabled gamers? Are you fucking kidding me? And then he denied it, and then, oh, look, we know really now, you know, that he's come out and said that, oh, look, I was reverse boosting, you know, like chain feeds, calling everybody a racist, you know, who thought he was reverse boosting. I'm like, holy shit. You know, these guys will pretty much do anything for money. It's, it's crazy, guys. Call of Duty right now, and let's be real, guys. The gameplay in the background is not going to be Call of Duty. I've not done the gameplay yet. I cannot play Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. It's just boring. It's boring. It's a sweat fest. It's not enjoyable for me. Even Zombies. I enjoyed Zombies for a couple of weeks, but I've got one map, and it's pretty boring. I don't think it's bad Zombies, but it's one map. So all I've been playing really now is anything other than Call of Duty. I've been playing some of the Scavengers open, sorry, closed beta. I've been playing a lot of Rocket League. I've been playing some Cyberpunk. But yeah, Call of Duty, it's in a terrible place right now. Long gone are the days where the community managers that were actually community managers. I think it was Robert Ball in JD2020. I think JD2020 even used to play, you know, open lobbies with fans of the game. You know, and for me now, when I see some of these changes they do, um, like, for example, they change some of the score streaks around, they put some of the score streak values up, they reduce some of the, you know, damage figures. I'm like, the attack helicopter was garbage anyway. Why the hell are you increasing that? You know, most of the maps you get these kill streaks on, you can't do anything. You know, a chopper gunner I got once, and I didn't even get one kill because everybody's inside. You couldn't even kill anybody. You know, it's just bad gameplay design it's bad map design call of duty is just a terrible terrible video game from a multiplayer point of view i'm not gonna shit on warzone because i think warzone's all right you know that's why it's very popular but call of duty black ops cold war is along with modern warfare multiplayer is terrible i think the people are making it just aren't call of duty fans they don't understand what the call of duty community wants because they don't need to anymore you know video games have changed Years ago, when the community managers actually used to care about the community and actually made, you know, changes and implemented those changes based on the community feedback, that was the time when gaming mattered on day one sales and it mattered about DLC content being purchased. So, map packs, for example. They had to keep the community active, happy, because otherwise they wouldn't buy the map packs. They wouldn't buy the game on day one, you know, if they didn't trust the developers and the community managers. But now... 
we always hear, you know, Activision coming out, Charlie Intel on Twitter saying, oh yeah, made the most money ever this year, you know, Call of Duty, and while they continue to make all that money, guys, do you really think they care about what I say on YouTube, what 8Thought says, what Blame Truth says, what Thunder says? They don't really care at all, guys. They're making money, and Activision, they don't care about, you know, our feelings. They care about one thing, money, how much profit they make. And while they're making these profits, they're not going to change anything. They'd be stupid not to. You know, if they did change anything, they'd be fired. The shareholders would fire them because they'd be like, why are you changing a winning formula? What makes us more money than ever? But yeah, thank you, guys. This is my first video on my so-called comeback. Um, onto YouTube. I'm not going to be doing as many videos as what I once was doing, but they're probably going to be longer videos. Um, maybe a bit better quality. I've done this video pretty much, you know, live. I've not wrote anything down. That's how I like to do things. I know it would probably make my content a bit better if I was to script everything, you know, just jot a few things down in Notepad like a lot of the content creators do. But I like to say stuff straight off the top of my head, straight from here. You always get what you know, I'm thinking, even though I know it's annoying as hell with me going, um, ah, uh, mm, ah, uh, 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 or saying, you know, little words while my brain thinks. Um, but that's just how I like to do things. And I've not done too bad, guys. I've got 30,000 subscribers. It would be nice eventually to get, you know, 100,000, but probably not going to happen. I'm getting older. I'm not as much mainstream now. But yeah, skill based matchmaking. What needs to happen is it needs to go. That Peyton, they just need to scrap that completely. A video game should all be about just having fun. And you can't have fun on Call of Duty anymore. It's a disgrace. Skill-based matchmaking needs to go unless it's in a ranked lobby where you can actually see your MMR, your rank, or whatever. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. My name has been SimonB1471. Thank you for watching this video. If you've watched right until the end, type in Simon B1471 loves skill based matchmaking. Because I know for a fact nobody's ever going to type that ever, ever, ever in the comments unless they've heard me say it. So yeah, type in Simon B1471 loves <laughs> skill based matchmaking. Love you all. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've subscribed, let me know in the chat as well. Sorry, in the comments. And I'll uh, give you a shout out. Love you all. Cheerio. Have a great weekend. Bye bye for now.